Okay, hi, welcome. Um, let's see, this is going to be the second playthrough that I've done of this game. I still have two achievements that I have not unlocked, so I want to try and get those in this playthrough. But in all honesty, I think the last time I played this game was like two weeks ago, and I did stream it on Twitch. But, um, <clears throat> I don't know, I've been having a really stressful day and this game only seems to relax me, so I just kind of wanted to play it. So let's get into it. The streets of Undermere are narrow and claustrophobic. In many places, the buildings lean out, so the, lean out at the upper floors so that neighbors can reach across and shake hands, or more likely, exchange unpleasantries. Strange Horticulture is a small shop situated away from main thoroughfares, but it has the advantage of being one of the few buildings in Undermere that stands alone. Plants you may have noticed need light, and light is in short supply at the street level in this town. Recently, the shop passed to me after the death of my uncle. There is much to learn, but one thing is already clear. The rare and unusual plant that he stocked have their uses after all. Okay. I, um, I changed the font, so I should be able to read it a little better, because the cursive is beautiful, but it is very hard for me to read. Um... Which, I'm not sure if anyone knows, but my setup is very, very mm, unusual, I'd say. Well, maybe not unusual, but it's, um, well, I'm using my TV as, like, a desktop. So I'm sitting on my couch, and it's very far away, so I have a hard time seeing it. Um, I just kind of want to get these guys situated away. They start them out so terribly. Right. Um, even though it has only been about two weeks since I last played this, I don't remember everything. <laughs> because my memory is uh, shot, pretty much. Um, not that that's like a bad thing if your memory is bad, but it's bad if you can't remember a game you played in two weeks. <laughs> That is good enough to me. To me? For me. <clears throat> Dangerous plant grows sparsely in the hills to the northeast of Backborough. Keep it secret. I found it. I'm an expert on the exclusive wandering bow. Come to the library in Ambleside and I'll tell you all about it. I even found something on the Gilded Dendra that might be of interest, Simone. P.S. Give Hellbore a good scratch behind the ear for me. I think I want to get the plant first. Northeast of Bachborough. Oh, I see. I can't explore yet. Victoria Gray. I must have walked past the shop a hundred times without ever stopping to look. What a wonderful place to spend your day surrounded by plants. I come here because I have an unusual request. At night, I hear whispered voices, too faint to hear clearly coming from the floor above me, but nobody lives up there. The rooms are empty. My curiosity has got the better of me. I must find out what they are saying. St. John's poppy. Oh, it's so weird to see this not written in cursive, actually. The vibrant petals of this flower can be brewed to create a drought, a draught, 
that can greatly improve the inviter's hearing ability. The flower of the St. John's poppy are bright red with a yellow center. Flowers are red with sweet scent. Good. David, Sheffer, good morning. Bloody awful weather out there today. Good for the plants, though, eh? Got a letter for you. I love the rain. Gosforth is a hateful town. I was beaten and robbed and left to die in the streets. After many days, I was rescued by a kind stranger. Just as I had come to fear that wickedness had infected the heart of every soul that in that cursed place... I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town, with a group of travelers. On the northeast corner of the woods, I sat and stared at a bright flower, with tears flowed down my face at the reminder that there is beauty in the world. I shall be returning to Undermere soon. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. Um, I think I wanted to get this. Uh, northeast of Backborough. Here is Backborough, North East. What? North East. North East. North East? I am. I, I don't. Okay. <laughs> well. That was dumb of me. Anyways. Like I said, played this game two weeks ago and don't even remember it. Something got those witches in the forest stirred up. They're not letting anyone through. I had to take the long way round back uh round down through Backbarrow. I never did trust that sisterhood. Anyway, I'm here now and I've brought Fennant for from the south to trade for some lemon dandy. Hardly worth the trouble when you factor the extra miles I've had to cover to get here. I didn't ask you to get it for me, though, so... At the same time... Um, oops. Lemon Dandy. It's curled leaves are thought to be the origin of the name of this plant, supposedly referring to peeled lemon rind. Among several medicinal uses, the flower of the lemon dandy is most associated with curing affiliations of the heart. Curly leaves. Looks like a lemon rind to me. Right, the fennet. Which I should label also. South of Gosforth, northeast of the woods. This one? Oh my god, why am I so bad at that? I've always been so bad at that. Oh my goodness. I feel like a dingus. My dreams becoming more vivid. I saw a woman, her face hidden behind a mask, and next to her a terrifying black skeletal creature. It stood tall, its roving head scanning the landscape. 
and though it had no discernible face, I could sense a hint of expression about its features. It seemed to be laughing, but not the joyous laughter of a child, a sickly, horrifying laughter that chilled me like the first breath of winter. These past weeks have been getting worse. I need sleep. Forest can't breathe. Uh, a strong smelling bulb of plant of this plant has a powerful sporic effect, making it a common ingredient in sleeping drafts. The comfrey produces a beautiful rounded dark blue cluster made up of many smaller flowers. It's easy in the beginning because it's like these are the, just the plants that are here currently that you have and there's obviously there's not a lot to begin with. Forest, there's the tea. Can't breathe. So it wasn't here, and it, I don't. Hold on. Uh. Ambleside. Is it? No. Uh, where is Ambleside? Oh. Right there. The library here in Ambleside is one of my favorite haunts. Simone, the librarian, is always helpful and friendly and shares some of my many passions. Uh, uh, why did I say that? <laughs> Some of my passions for unusual plants. Today she's grinning ear to ear and can't wait to show me what she's found. The Gilded Dendra Wandering Bow. Archive. Pet, 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 pet. Nora Butterfield. Got any wandering bow? That always reminds me of. Uh, oh, what's his name? Feldholm, an inventor, the wanderer. Anyway, the bow, if you've got any. I don't know if I have the actual plant, because I haven't actually gone out and gotten anything. Um, it's so cold because of the fungus can move, can move slowly in the dark. It has been known to cover distances up to several meters in a single night. The gills of the underside of the mushroom form beautiful flowing lines. They're also quite hard and sharp, earning this plant the nickname Fingers Bane. Well, I have two mushrooms. Not as spongy as most mushrooms. In fact, the undersides are somewhat sharp. Okay. Lady of Summer. Okay, so this one is the wandering. <sighs> wandering. Oh. Oh, I put wandering, not wandering. Like wondering, not wandering. <laughs> um. Let's see. Grow sparsely in the hills. Okay, hills to the northeast. So, here. Yeah. The weather changes fast out in the hills. What started as a gray morning has turned into bright sunshine. A good thing, too, because it takes me several hours to find what I come for. By the time I'm done, the cloud is, uh, the cloud is sweeping back over. A cloak of unwelcome shade. This is a deadly plant with some berries. Dangerous plant. Hmm. Okay, end of day one. Wonderful. Let's see. Throughout age, the third ribbon. It started when she found something. Something that she was not meant to find. A book tucked away in a forgotten corner of the Ambleside Library. Day two. 
Hero H, the third river. Let's see. Oh god. Uh, row H. One, two, three. Yes. A dead deer in the river, yellowed bone protruding from mattered hide and rotted flesh. Death for one provides life for many. Beautiful. I'm gonna put you right there. Okay. Pet the kitty. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Um. Bring me a sample of Apis Demisus. And be quick about it. The damn cat is setting off. My allergies shouldn't have an animal in a shop like this. I mean, okay, I can agree that I shouldn't have an animal near poisonous plants, but whoever asked you your opinion, sir? Uh, that is fine. Is that it? God, I cannot see that. Yes, okay, so Gandhi Root. A plant with medicinal properties that can aid with digestive troubles when prepared correctly. Care must be taken, however, as the rough leaves can be an irritant. Only the petals are safe for consumption. I bet you don't even know that, and guess what? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. Um... Is this it? The leaves are coarse to the touch. It must be taken rough leaves. Okay. We could do. Wonderful. Okay. Candy root. Absolutely wonderful. Um. Uh, da 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 da. I began my recovery in the woods to the south of the town with a group of travelers on the northeast corner of the woods. So, south, northeast corner. What did I uh, Wouldn't it be this one though? I don't know. Yeah, that's weird. It says northeast, but it's in the same row. But that's fine. The wood has a calming effect on my mind. It does me good to escape into nature, away from the stretch and clamor of Undermere. It is not long before I spy a bright flower among the trees. God, this one is so pretty. I love it. I'm just gonna leave it right... Right, right there. Yeah, that looks... Why are you here? You're supposed to be over there. Hey, hey, hey. Get up there. Thank you. Okay. That's done, that's done. Hmm. Look, Undermere is looking fine in the sunshine today. Oh, Lake and <laughs> God. <laughs> Here's your mail. I cannot just... Ugh. <sighs> There's an old slate mine at Hard Knot that has some interesting looking fungi growing in it. I've never seen anything like them before. They seem to have found a niche in the dark in the damp dark tunnels left by the tramways. I thought you might be interested. Warmest regards, Amos Duncan. Hard knot. Uh where oh where is Hard Knot? No. Ah, there we go. An iron gate rusted by years of abandonment sits across the entrance to the tram tunnel. Rusted, it may be, but it won't budge. Locked. Calvin. Okay. A 
According to legend, Calvillium can be used to open any lock, no matter how complex or secure. Heart-shaped leaves have earned this plant's nickname, Love Lock. The flowers are made up of many seeds. See, that looks like it might be it. Um... I don't see any other plant that has the heart, so we'll try it. Perfect. Let me label it first, so I don't forget. The gate swings open slowly, complaining loudly on its rusty hinges. After a short exploration of the tunnel, I am rewarded. Ah, yes, yes, very good. Go there. Go there. You can go here. And you can go here. Oh, that's done. Okay. Reuben Ward. I'm headed to Grisdale Forest investigating a possible murder there. Can't say I'm looking forward to it. The Sisterhood are our secret lot, and they are not keen. To talk to me. Their leader, the Arda, or whatever they call her, she's dead. My instinct is they're hiding something. I was hoping you might have some fox button that would help me win them over. Fox button. Let's see, fox button. An offering of fox button is considered by some rep some to represent a, a contract of friendship between strangers. Thick shiny leaves grow in opposing pairs along the stem. Ah, uh, let's see. I have a few of those. Mm, these ones are pointed. Oh. Okay. What's that? Yes. Brimlock. see. Fox. But uh, my hand is so cold. Um, hold on one second. I have, I have a message I have to answer. Oh my gosh. That is horrible news. Ew. Oh my god. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Uh, I'm still answering, but I'm gonna try and get back to this as well. Ugh. I was able to make out the whispered voices last night with the help of the St. John's Poppy. There's a medium using the room illegally, I might add, holding midnight seances for gullible grievers. Is there a plant you know of that I could use to give them a scare and drive them away? I need my sleep. Harlequin Blue. 
When the bushy blue flower heads die back, they release seeds with the down pappus, which assist in wind dispersal. Once dried and hardened, the stem can be burned as incense. As they burn, they let out high-pitched shrieks, widely believed to be the spirits of dead souls trapped within the plant. Um, it said, blue flower heads, and a downward pappus. Was it this? Because these are purple. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh. <sighs> oh, I put a capital A? Why would I do that? I always do that. Like when blue. Oh, hold on, I'm sorry. He just got back to me again. Alright, okay, I'm sorry, okay, I'm coming back and full focus, 100%. There we go, okay. You may have heard the rumors that our Arda is dead. May Arduana bring her spirit peace. The nature of her death is unusual. The sisterhood does not often look for out look to outside help. Uh, but this is beyond our knowledge. If you show my sisters this letter, they will... Allow you entry to the forest. To be assured of your discretion, we require that you use Marini's breath to bind yourself to secrecy. The wide, waxy leaves allow this plant to collect the large amount of water it requires. It is said that a person can be bound to secrecy using Marini's breath. It is used to be grown. It used to be grown in the royal garden so that king, the king could ensure the trust of his confidants. But the practice fell out of favor. Let's see. Wide. What was it? It was, um, waxy? Wide waxy leaves? Is it this? Smooth waxy leaves. The vein leaves have a waxy finish. These are very wide too, though. Uh, this one doesn't say why. This one says... I think I'm just gonna go with this. Is it this? Yeah, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Mary's breath. We have failed in our duty as protectors of the forest. Our secrets have been stolen and the Arda has been murdered. You will find us deep in the Cristo Forest, a mile from the lake shore across from Trover. Please help us. Yours in hope, the Sisterhood. Trover, one mile into the forest. So is it this one or is it this one? I think it's this one. Yeah. As soon as I step off the road, two members of the sisterhood step out and remind me that this is their forest and I am not welcome here. I try showing them the sister's letter, but they tell me I'm in the wrong place and move me along without offering any help. Oh, so- oh. 
Oh, so it was the first one. So it was this one. A mile into the forest, this is a mile into it. Okay. My bad. <laughs> it's fine, I'll go there. Oh, this guy. You always have a problem. I wish I could just, like, you know, just real quick. I wonder if I can. I wonder if there's a way I can have him murdered. Oh, I think I can. I'm this close to reporting you half-wit. The last point you gave me has made my skin itch furiously. I'll have your little shop shut down and torn to the ground if you don't make this right. Yeah, okay, like, you have that prop, that freaking power. You're just like a regular Karen. Just old and bitter. Often found growing in clumps of the valley side, Butterdale has been used for centuries for a cure for all manners of skin rashes. The dark green leaves can be stewed and mulched to the form of poultice. The flowers smell buttery. Some people, um... Hmm. Yeah, that's not it. Do I not have it? Because I could just not... No, I have it. Light buttery scent. Okay. I wish they would do an update in this game where you can have different label colors. Like blue, purple, red, and like... Maybe green. That would be good. Okay, so... This one. My sister tries to stop me from entering, but I show her the letter and she lets me through. I am ushered into a- oh god, hold on. Into a walled courtyard, and then through a large oak door, along the corridor and down a set of stone stairs into a cool basement, lying on the table, draped in silk, is the Arda. There is not a mark on her, but her eyes are open. Uh, but her open eyes are black. Her mouth, her veins, her hair are all black as raven's wings. Do you know what could have done this? Asks my escort. I set to work. Red. Nope, that is not what I wanted. The long leaves of this, of the wren, are known to turn back black in the presence of certain poisons, and so can be used to detect them. Though it has no flower, it is said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death, and sweet to those who have not. It could be this, but it doesn't say anything about a flower. I think it might not have a flower. Is it this? There's a scent that scratches at the back of my throat. Huh. What does it say? It says, uh, yeah, though it has no flower. It said to smell unpleasant to those who have known death. Oh, I must have known death. Oh my goodness. This baby's trying to bite her keys in her sleep. Here. Here, let go. Okay, you want to hold him, that's fine. She was looking for her binky and she was just biting some keys in her sleep. That was adorable. Okay, um... No. <laughs> oh my god. Did I put a space, really? <laughs> I extract a sample of the artist's blood and introduce it to the wren, and my suspicions are confirmed immediately. The leaves of the wren turn black, which can only mean one thing. Kill the dendra poisoning. 
Upon presenting my findings, I am rushed away quickly. The sisters do not want me hanging around, it seems. They do, however, send me on my way with a couple of plans which I am grateful for. Interesting. Let's put you here. And you next to it. Close. <sighs> The book both fascinated and terrified her in equal measure, and after studying it for some time, she reached a decision. She would never use the power she had discovered. She would hide the book where it could never be found. North of Hawkshed, east of Lowick, west of Burslin, and south of... Crickle Cage, Lowick, Lowick, Hawkshed, South of Crickle Crags, West of Rustland. Oh, okay, so here? No. I think I'm close though. I think it might be right next to where I clicked. Wilbur Miller. I'm looking for a plant. Um, Lady of what's it something or other? Um I'm no green-eyed drayer, that's for sure. My mind is, isn't at all what it used to be. It's supposed to be the one that helps with mental decline. Lady of Summer. The leaves curl round delightfully, which, combined with an attractive flower and a hardy nature, makes this sought-after ornamental plant. It's with condition and memory deterioration associated with old age. That was the one that I said was really pretty, right? This one. Single so long, dark flower. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already have a fennet plant. Green, purple. Lady of Summer. They're saying the art has been killed. I know a lot of people don't trust that sisterhood, but they but it seemed to me the art always looked out for the less fortunate. Should have waited to open it. The cold is too much to bear beyond the gap. I was forced to turn back. I would advise against it, but if you are determined to explore Great Gable, be sure to take precautions. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll have a plan up your sleeve that can keep you warm should the weather turn against you. Okay, I think I want to do this first, though. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's here. Wait. No. Where the heck? Okay. Lowick. What did it say? North of Hackset, east of Lowick. West of Rustland, south of Crickle Crags. So, okay, so Crickle Crags is south of that. And then Lowick, it says east of Lowick. On the south. East of Lowick. North of Hawkshed. West of Rustland. Yeah, so okay, so it would be this one. Okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. 
This plant is cursed. It has brought me nothing but sorrow. Please take it. I want nothing more to do with it. Most mushrooms, I feel like, are cursed. Come on. Helbor, always a pleasure, my feline friend. I hope he hasn't been nibbling the plants again. I have a favor to ask. You owe me for the hours I spent digging out information on those plants. I've been burning the midnight oil again, and I could use some common trouse, and I know where to find it. According to Grayson's herbology, it grows in the abundance of red pike. I'll come by the day after tomorrow to collect it. I have business in Sedburg in the meantime. Here, take this. Common trouse. Okay. I still want... What did I say? I think it's... Yeah. It's here, right? Yes. Okay. My eyes are drawn to the silhouette of a grizzled old man. Standing at the edge of the field. His mind is broken, seemingly beyond repair. Vacant eyes fixate on nothing. A whisper of an expression as my gaze sweeps his face. But only a whisper. He raises his arm, points. I follow his outstretched finger and I am surprised to find a cluster of wildflowers growing there, hidden from view. Ooh. Very pretty. Um... And then you could stay there. Actually, I think I want you more there. Okay. What did this one say? I still have to go to Red Pike. Um. Verona Green. When you work with the occult, I find it pays to uphold a certain image. If you're going to be accused of performing witchcraft anyway, it doesn't hurt to put a bit of a show every now and then. Let the punters know what I'm capable of sort of thing. Long story short, I may have threatened to turn a small boy into a toad, and the little booger called my bluff. Oh, don't look at me like that, you know what little boys are like. I can assure you he deserves to be turned into a toad. Anyway, I think a little display is needed to discourage this sort of behavior in the future. Well, you gotta be sh uh, Schwimmerlung. Schwimmerlung. I keep saying Schwimmer like swimming. <laughs> uh, Schimmerlung. The dried stem of the Schimmerlung burns very brightly and noisily, letting off near blinding white purple light. Flowers go wrapped into a large vision. Oh, that was this one that I just got, right? It's a pleasant scent. Uh, the leaves have stiff ridges. Yeah. Oh my. Uh. Shimmer long. Okay. Uh, da da da. Great Gable. Oh, perfect. After several hours of arduous hiking and scrambling, I am still some distance from the summit. I am freezing cold and ready to head home. I should do the sensible thing and turn back down the mountain, unless... Hmm, Rimlock. Those suffering from hypothermia can... Be rescued by a draught made from using leaves of the brimlock plant. It has a warming effect that protects against extreme cold. When conditions are just right, the cold of winter, the brimlock produces small yellow flowers. The leaves are waxy and tough. Cream colored leaves. Uh, the leaves are waxy and tough. 
Well, this is smooth and waxy. Oh, cool. Okay. Sunset Mountain Calf. Grimlock. I push on, no longer feeling the cold in my own. Presently rewarded. That's a pretty flower. It's like a gray color. I love that. And I just realized this one should be over here. Where's Douglas? There's a beautiful plant that I've been looking for all over, but nobody seems to have any. M something. Monk brew? I'm not sure. I do know that it shouldn't be touched. Uh, shouldn't touch the leaves, though. Meek do? The beautiful flowers made up of many smaller florets make this soft a sought-after decorative plant, although it is difficult to care for. It may be pleasant-looking, but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sores. Okay, so... Yeah. Um... Is it this? Small leaves, delicate flowers? Oh, it's not that. Any smaller florets. Yeah, I think that's the only one I have left, isn't it? It's made up of many smaller. Yes. Mikdu. Make this red. Thank you. Mikdu. Oh. Uh, I don't have anywhere else to explore to, so end day. <sighs> Time passed, a year, and then another. The book remained hidden, but out of sight did not mean out of mind. The book was what her thoughts settled on when she rested, what she brewed over when she did when she did her chores, what she pictured when she dreamed. Yeah, Dwayne, can you warm up my fingers, please? They're so cold. They're like frozen. Okay. Let's see. Oh, hi, buddy. Uh... Oh. Ah. Okay. Yes. The gentle sound of flowing water, the sunlight through scattered clouds, the rest. I hate when it just puts plants wherever, like I have it set up a certain way, don't mess with me. Thank you. Okay. The fox button was no help, I'm afraid. The sisterhood still refused to speak openly with me. Not that I have the time to pursue it properly. I'm rushed off my feet this week. There's been a body found at the Swinside Stone Circle, and apparently it's a grisly one. Don't suppose you've got anything to help keep my lunch down. My stomach's never coped too well with the grizzly ones. Oh, yeah, I already labeled that one. Yeah, because that's what that guy gave me. Which is big. Ooh, David, give me somewhere to go. Morning. 
Verona Green handed me this for you. She seems in a good mood. Awesome. Yes. I meant to tell you this yesterday, but it slipped my mind. I discovered a plant on my recent trip to Grisdale Forest, just northeast of the Rustland. It was like nothing I've ever seen before. I would have brought it back with me if the sisterhood had given me a moment alone, but they seem overly protective lately. Uh... Da -da -da -da. I discovered a trip Grisdale Forest just northeast of Rustland. Northeast. Nice. From the moment I step off the road, I can't shake the feeling I'm being watched. Suddenly, I find my way blocked by three women wearing green cloaks and holding short elm bows. Nobody may wander freely throughout the forest by order of the Arda, says, says the leader of the trio. I turn to walk back, but then again, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Let's see, mellow glow. Among other uses for this plant, the most remarkable is that it can allow a person to pass unnoticed. Though not invisible, it is possible to become hidden from sight and memory. The mellow glow has sharp thorns that protect it from predators. Do I only have two with thorns? Okay, okay, okay. Um, this one just mostly talks about the flower. This one talks about the thorns. So, okay. Correct. Mellow glow. With the help of the mellow glow, I walk right past the sisters without them paying any uh paying me any head. Chuckling to myself, I collect the plant that Verona talked about and take my leave. Oh, it's berries. I love that it's raining. God, it's so relaxing. And I really just needed this game because I just needed to relax a little bit. And there's like no pressure in this one to get things done or to be, you know, whatever the case may be. Oh, excuse me. I am afraid. The camphor you gave me is helping me sleep, but I'm, and I'm very grateful for it, but the visions are as strong as ever. The woman in the jade mask appears in my dreams every night. She scares me. Oh, she screams at me, but uh, I do not know why. And behind her, that presence is always there, dark and dreadful. I don't know what to do. The dreams feel like warning, but I don't understand a mosaic of color that refuses to come to the surface to focus. Some people, some part of me wants to stare down that abyss, but I'm afraid. Girl, don't, don't, don't be looking in a crazy, crazy crud like that. What the heck? When burned, incense made from this woody stem can enhance psychic, psychic ability, strengthening the clarity of visions and prophecies. Light blue flowers, like rounded tufts and gentle lambs, will characterize this plant. Um, and candlewood. Produces a red flower that provides a shielding effect protecting against all manners of affiliation of the mind. Long thin stems grow amongst tall leaves. Yeah, I want to give her that. Long thin... What is this? Bright red flower grows at the end of thin stems. This? Yeah. Okay. Candlewood. Pet the cat. 
skinny and it's face. I'm just gonna crack my neck, hold on. Oh. We don't come to Undermere often, but I, I heard... I thought I clicked everything out, okay. Uh, uh, often, but I heard about your shop. And I said to Francis, we simply must pay a visit. It's a wonderful breath of life in an otherwise dreary town. Good. I am the green-fingered one, and it's not really his his cup of tea. But I persuaded him that him the trip would be would do him good. And besides, <coughs> oh God. Uh, uh, where was I? We'll do him good. And besides, he'll be wanting to take a boat out on the lake. Shame about this awful weather, though. We must come to Sizer. Sizer. We have a small library with some books on plants that my grandfather acquired many years ago. I'm sure they will be an interest to you, a horticulturist such as yourself. Okay. I don't know why that was so hard for me to read. It. Uh, my brain is like hardly working right now. Uh, Lord and Lady Blues. Okay, okay, hold on. I need to take a second. <sighs> okay. Uh, Sizer. Silberg. Sadgill. Ah. Sizer Castle. I am greeted enthusiastically by Lady Elizabeth herself. She is very talkative and has many questions on horticulture that I do my best to answer as she takes me on a tour of the garden. Oh, you must take a sample of this back with you, she exclaims, pointing out the plant that I do not recognize, but before I can stop to take a look, she has already whisked me on to the next, and this one too, she says. I am quite exhausted by the time we make it to the library and we, and I don't have the time to make uh, I uh, I don't oh, where the hell was I <laughs> make it to the library and I don't have the time to make as though as, as thorough of the study as I would like nevertheless I am able to find an interesting entry that I, I note down don't forget these Lady Elizabeth cries as I make to leave she thrusts the plants from the gardens into my hands and I thank her warmly. Give her a kiss. Ooh, this one is so pretty. Um, boop. Actually, I feel like this guy should be on the end. And your berries. Go on. Get with the berries. Nope, that's... there we go. I'm looking for a plant with yellow flowers and coarse leaves. Okay. It helps with my heartburn. Isn't that the candy root? Digestive troubles, yes. Coarse leaves? Course leaves. They're saying Blackcomb is haunted now. Bradley Miller told me he saw a ghost of huge deer antlers and all, but then Bradley Miller also says he can talk to squirrels. Either way, there's something evil in them hills, and I'm not taking any chances. Awful what happened to those poor young men up in Swinside. I've come for the, sh for the stinking mountain cat. Sunset mountain cat. The sunset mountain cap is a type of fungus with domed caps, sometimes called stinking mountain cap as a result of the unpleasant odor. It is thought to deter unwanted souls and spirits from entering the home and is often placed in doorways. It is mildly toxic to humans and should not be eaten. Unpleasant odor. It's 
smells strongly of soured milk bad enough to make my eyes water. Okay. Sunset mountain cap. Mount cap. I keep saying mountain. Uh, sunset mount cap. Oh, I don't like that. There we go. <laughs> oh. Fifteen, her mother, strong, dependable, loving, was struck down by typhoid. The girl drew inward as her father turned to drink. What exactly is typhoid? Um, hold on, I'm gonna look that up really quick. I mean, obviously, I know it's a, a sickness that affected a lot of people back in the day, but, like, what exactly? Typhoid fever. Bacterial disease spread through contaminated food and water or close contact. Oh. Includes high fever, headache, belly pain, and either constipation or diarrhea. Either or. Wow. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Probably the fever is what probably killed them, because if you get a fever, I think, like, above 105 for long enough, your body just kind of shuts down because it's overworking so much. She lives alone in the castle to the northwest of the abbey. She buried her husband three miles to the east where the Everheart grows. The castle to the northeast of the abbey? Three miles. One, two, three. A dead tree, its bark cracked and blackened by fire, stands alone on the hillside. Off to the one side, a patch of flowers grow on a low mound. Hmm. You go right... Oh no. No. Dear. These windows need a, a good cleaning. I must thank you. Ugh. Last night, for the first time in weeks, my mind was calmed. I am no longer tormented by visions of the woman in the jade mask and that terrible monster. Now I'm wondering if you have some worry less to keep my over-anxious thoughts at bay. Borealis. Borealis is an aptly named plant. Inhaling the smell of the flowers, it is said to help ease symptoms of anxiety. Okay. Uh, that's definitely not it. Mm, all those ones are done. That's not it. No. Well, I already have that one. No. No, 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 no. Is this it? Maybe. Well, I don't think it's a berry. I don't think it's a mushroom, so... Maybe it's this? Okay, cool. Yeah, the flowers, like this part here, looked like... Um, looked like this, so that's why I was like, maybe it's that?
Okay. I hope the mail or somebody gives me something so I can go on a little adventure. I'm gonna let that play out for a second while I get more comfortable and just take a drink really quick. Lemony. Okay. Oh my gosh. I met a strange man on the road to Sedford not two days ago. Oh, I never went to get the common trouse, right? Or did I? No, I can go now. I forgot where she said it grows. I can look that up, I think. Uh. Oh, Red Pike. Uh, stranger still, he asked after you. He said he had something for you, don't ask me what. So I told him where to find you, but he looked stricken when I mentioned Undermere. Said he doesn't come near towns at all, if he can help it. He was headed west, at least I think he was. He said he was looking for the Winster Spring. I'll write this down for you. Anyway, that's my news. Did you manage to find the plant I wanted? Let me just run to Red Bike real quickly. Um, Red Pike. Uh, Red Pike. I enjoyed pleasant stroll up the fell. The going is easy, the weather agreeable, and the views majestic. I do not have uh, I do not have to look hard. Sorry, I'm drinking seltzer water and now I'm like having it all in my throat. <laughs> Hard to find what I'm looking after. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. So. This one? Yes. What exactly does the common trust do? Let's see. Despite it being described as common, the trust can in, can in fact be quite tricky to find. However, it is known to grow in the abundance in the slopes of Red Pike. Nobody knows why. It leaves, its leaves have been used for centuries in the balm against eye strain. Oh man, I need that. Man, one of them you headed west from Sedberg, possibly near the source of the river Winston. Sedberg headed west. Uh, so this one? The hermit's camp is easy to find, nestled between two boulders above the, s the spring. The cool remains of a fire ringed by stones is the only imminent sign that anyone was here. I call out, but there was no reply. The hermit is not here. A more thorough search of the campsite yields something interesting. Tucked away, or tucked off to one side, I discover something broken. Some broken pieces of wood arranged on the floor. So two, three, so... One, two, two, three. The camp at the Winster Spring has led me to another camp of sorts where I am greeted by an eccentric man. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> and another was Santa Claus. The man says, You must take this. Take it. Take it. And his insistence, I receive the looking glass. Oh, God. Excuse me. 
that he thrusts into my hands, and he places an envelope directly on top. Oh, it's no use to me anymore. No use. Don't forget the red. The red, the red, the red. Abony. I'm sure that he is quite mad. It is said that the red ebony plant has the property of uncovering that which is hidden or secret. That's <laughs> I have a perfect I have perfected a device. A device. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Designed to use extract from the plant in concrete with a viewing window in order to permit the user to see magics, otherwise invisible to the naked eye. Okay, guys, crazy, got it. Oh god. <laughs> I'm not long for this world, and I have decided that I want to be buried in a grave decorated with a rare and beautiful cabilia. Uh, like a drear huntsman, with their dranthium covered tombs. Okay. That's, um. That's a nice request. Let's see. A rare plant that is believed to help the dead find peace in the afterlife. Those who can afford it place wreaths made from it at the graves of their loved ones. Cabellia flowers almost always contain six petals. Finding a seventh petal flower is considered to bring good fortune. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's got way too many. Way too many, it's already labeled. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Is this it? Nice. I'm sorry I don't have one with seven. For you, for luck in your afterlife. Or good fortune, or whatever it said. Ka Bailey. Yeah. Got it. Your reputation is growing, horticulturist. I hear you are the person to come to for plants that are different difficult to acquire. My head feels like it's being torn in two lately. I'm looking for some hop heart. Um, inhaling smoke from burning the dried leaves of this plant can provide pain relief. Oops. Firm leaves grow on the stems, leading to blue flowers. Is it this? No. Is it this? Blue flower stiff leaves. Yes. scared the kitty. Sorry, kitty. Reuben Ward... I'm just gonna... Reuben Ward has called on my unique expertise to aid in his investigation at the Swing Sand Stone Circle. Unique expertise. Ha! <laughs> he knows how to flatter an old woman who, when he wants something. I thought about telling him to suck an egg. Gave it a good long thought, actually. But my curiosity has got the better of me. He must be desperate if he's coming to me, and I'll bet they found something juicy down there. 
Signs of a ritual sacrifice, maybe? I could do with some witch fog to take with me. Always comes useful. Witch fog. A plant that is said to have many uses, including easing the symptoms of infection, soaking up moisture, and detecting the presence of certain compounds. It is also well liked by butterflies. It has similar leaves to fever kiss plant, which is which it is often confused with. Okay, so fever kiss. The red berries provide an energy boost that lasts for several hours. Oh, well, red berries. That look like that. That would be this. Right, so let me label this one as Fever Kiss. Oh no. Uh, that's better. So then the opposite of that one. Um. Would it be this one? Small yellow berries. Oh, good. Witch fig. This freaking guy. I never see anybody in your shop. It's daily surprise to me that you're still in business. Believe me, I wouldn't be here if I didn't have to be, especially with that damn cat still here. I need some bishop's parcel for a work-related matter. You know, you are very, very rude. Bishop's parcel. A mushroom found in dark, damp places feeding on any light that gets close to it. It can seem to draw light in, enveloping its surrounding in darkness. The gills of the underside of the mushroom seep a milky fluid that can be consumed as a treatment for stomach pains. Is that- that's gotta be one of these new ones that I have. A viscous white liquid can- oh, perfect, that was the first one I picked. <laughs> Ooh, Bishop's Parasol. Not long after the girl left home, her father wept, but he was so caught up in his own grief that he let her go and did not look for her. That's so sad. Day 6 The old man of Constant looks out across the lake with blind eyes. His mind wanders with the current floating gently southwards to the fork. Ah, oh, there's one. Thunder. Oh my god, I love it. The old man of Constan sat across the lake with blind eyes. So this is the old man. His mind wanders with the current flowing, floating gently southwards towards the fork. Okay. So, here? Ish. The heavens open up as I reach the fork. I take a minute to pause and listen to the sound of the water on water. I'm soaked through, but my spirits are high as I return home. I am not empty-handed. Two new plants today. Perfect. God. Yeah. Yeah, you guys hear that? That is some nice... That is some nice rain right there. That is some nice thunder. The 
insects make the salt marshes uninhabitable. People stay away, and not much grows there, but I know where to find an unusual plant. I have drawn you a map in case you decide it's worth your time. The air is thick with flying, biting insects and unbearable plague. I fight against it for more moments before. I am overwhelmed. If only I had some blue winter to keep them at bay. Ooh. Oh, winter boar. I was like looking for the blue winter, winter boar. Also known as blue owl or blue winter after its cool blue gray flowers, winter boar is a hardy plant often found growing in extreme cold environments. The rubbery leaves make an effective instant repellent when applied to the skin. So it said blue gray? Uh, uh. Yeah, blue gray flowers and rubbery leaves. Rather unpleasant scent. Oh, gray blue flowers with an orange center. Winter four. The blue winter saves my skin, but the swirling mass of insects is so thick in this place that it is hard to see. At length I come across what I came for and hurry away. Ooh, oh, perfect. Bloop. Thank you for your help and discretion earlier. The sisterhood is grateful, but the news of the Arda was poisoned with Gildedendra has everyone worried. The temporary acting Arda is panicking. I I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but one of the sisters has gone missing. I have to put this back on. Um, call, a runaway called Thea that we took a few years ago. We're trying to find her. And Sister Charlotte re remembered that Jacob's Worth plant is said to help locate people. Now, hold on a second, because I know that one of these days... Um... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, the sisterhood's fate ended. Okay, so... Okay. Okay, I see now. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Uh, Jacob's worth. People tend to be drawn to this unusual flower of the Jacob's worth, but the but it is the leaves that have the most interesting properties. It is said that they will point the way towards any person if you wish to locate and have been used successfully to find many of lost wanderer out on the fells. Okay. Uh, spiky leaves. Kind of like the butter now. Uh, da 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 da. Oh. The leaves seem to have a mind of their own. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one if I ever seen it. Where are my labels? There they are. So, Jacob's Worth, right? That's what it was called? Uh, yeah, Jacob's Worth. Okay. my wife's birthday and I wanted to get her something special. There was a plant that she used to love as a child, but she hasn't been able to find any in years. It's sort of bulb-like and it has a strong smell to it, but strong in a good way. And oh, the flower is more like lots of little flowers. Is it this one? Forest Camphrey? Because that's like bulb, but little flowers. Okay. Oh, I scared the kitty. We've had an eye on you for some time now. Join us. Praise the Dendry. I represent a group called the Seeds of Redemption. Your expertise would be very useful to us, and we have much to offer in return. Let us know we can count on you by leaving a single St. John Poppy flower outside the Sagal Church before Friday. Do not make the mistake of ignoring us. I kind of want to just ignore you guys, but... St. John's Poppy. Outside... Sadgill? Sadgill, Sadgill. Oh, my neck. Uh, Sadgill. The church isn't hard to find in the small hamlet of Sadgill. This must be the place. St. John's Poppy. Poor baby. There you go. Good girl. Okay. I have returned from Swinside. I must admit, I was hoping for more to go on, but there were certainly signs of a ritual having been performed at the stone circle. And the poor victim, well, the less said about him, the better. Reuben had it right, though. Grizzly. I have beginnings of a theory, but I would like to run some tests on the, sim on the sample of the Gilded Dendro. Do not drink the sap of this plant. The lips and veins will turn black as the blood succumbs to the Dendro's miasma. A sure, painful way to die. The poison is so potent that even touching the leaves of the plant can be painful. Uh, Alright. The dark blue petals are soft and feathery to the touch. My fingers ache from handling this plant. Oh, is this it? That was funny, that was just the first one I clicked. <laughs> on me for a second there.
My aunt died two weeks ago, and I inherited her house. I have been sifting through her possessions, and last night I found something unusual. In a forgotten corner of the attic, I found a coffin. More unusual still, it was bound by strong vines, so strong that I cannot cut through them. I immediately thought of your shop. You know, about plants, right? Royal Gentra. Gentia. Royal Gentia. Sometimes called Everheart, the pink flowers of the Royal Gentia are made up of two large kidney-shaped petals. One of the few known ways to release the bind of swift snare is to apply a paste created from the sap of the Royal Gentia. The pink flowers? So this? No. This. Yeah. Like, I don't want this day to end because of the thunder and the rain and everything. Ugh. <sighs> Before she left, she returned to her hiding place and carefully retrieved the book. Her excitement building as she did, she couldn't articulate what was so alluring to her about the book, but by now, it had become an obsession. Five miles south of the tallest but one, it grows in place in the midday sun. Uh... Nine seventy eight, eight fifty nine, six, uh, eight seventy three, eight ninety nine, eight twenty six, five six hundred, two fifteen. Um, okay, so it's definitely. Oh, somewhere over here. So this is the tallest. Unless it's talking about like actual... I forget. Ah, uh, I forgot this one. Five miles south of the tallest but one. It grows in peace in the midday sun. No, that wouldn't make sense. I wanted to be all the way down there. So a second. One, two, three, four, five. Is it this? Oh, okay, cool. The forest here is lush and vibrant. The bird song feels enchanting. Like the call of the sirens nestled in the undergrowth. Under the shade of the birch tree a plant grows. <sighs> I know which plant that is. And that one is very hard to forget. It works. <sighs> Scared the kitty. 
I was able to strip away the swift snare vines and lift the lid with more than a little trepidation, I'll admit. To my relief, but also my disappointment, the coffin contained nothing but dust. At least that's what I thought at first, but when I looked closer, I discovered a golden amulet embedded in the graves, gray ash. On the back of the amulet is an inscription that says, With Solomon's Scepter, I awake. Solomon Scepter, that's a plant, right? Yeah. Uh, da 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 da. Also known alarmingly as Hell's Gate, and sometimes Solomon's Scorn, the flower of the plant are commonly used in witchcraft and other satanic practices. Many sweet smelling small flowers grow along the stem. Is it this one? Part of our smell is alluring. Yeah, yeah, it looks like them. Yeah. It's such a pretty flower to be literally um also known as Hell's Gate. <laughs> this is the right one, right? Yeah. Uh purple. Solo Mons Scepter. Hmm. I heard a shepherd got killed by some wild beast up, no up near the Swinside Stone Circle. They say it slaughtered half his flock as well. People around here don't seem too bothered, but it Got them panicked down Foxfield way. Kentmere Eye. Kentmere Eye. Kentmere. From Kentmere Eye, follow the bearing of the eye, and I end up in a small forest north of Kendall. The woods are thick with rare and brambles, but amongst the tangled undergrowth, a type of flower is flourishing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Ugh, more berries. Berries, berries, berries. I did not- Listen, you, get out of here. <sighs> I'm so tired today. Well, this is getting interesting. I was able to confirm that it was indeed Gildedendra that was used at the Swinside Ritual Site. That's a worrying sign. It's a plant that is used in several of the darker incantations. And I can't and it can't be a coincidence that the very same plant was used to poison the Arda. There must be a connection between this other murder and the sisterhood. I need some mental clarity to think through some more. So Maiden Sorrow would help a lot. Maiden Sorrow. Rubbing the leaf, the soft leaves of this plant between one's fingers and thumb is said to help prevent the mind from wandering, providing a focus effect. The flower is of this plant droop mournfully, but it is the thorns along the stem that are thought to lend it its name. So it's this this one, right? It smells pleasant, it's dripping sorrowfully. And it's got thorns. <laughs> I hit the bell. <laughs> I scared the kitty. Oh no. Yeah, that was this is the red oven. Uh da 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 you. Maidens. Sorrow. Oh. It 
looks like I'm going to have to make a trip to Black Calm. Verona knows something at the Swingside site that had me pondering. A piece of slate with a symbol drawn on it in black. Can't think of anywhere else around there where you'd get slate from. That and Bradley Miller keeps insisting that he saw something up at Black Comb. But then again, Bradley Miller does claim that he that the fairy stole his wheelbarrow. If I'm going to spend a night out uh, in the hills, I'll want to take some eye bright with me. Wouldn't want anyone sneaking up on me in the dark. Oops, go back. Eye bright. Take care not to touch the brightly colored thorns. They will do no lasting damage, but they contain a small amount of venom that will cause sever severe pain for several days. A plant that only grows in the south in warmer climates, climates, where they call it loath, after a long dead king, known to improve eyesight at night and even the darkest places. Well, the only other thing that I have with thorns that's not labeled is this plant that I got here. Thorns look menacing, and they're brightly colored. Yeah, okay. Thorn ones are easy, I think there's only three. <sighs> Chorus. Does it ever stop raining in under here? You have a reputation in town for knowing about unusual plants. I need some gray sand fire. Nobody around here seems to even know what I'm talking about, but I hope I'm in the right place now. Sandfire has a tough outer bark which has many useful properties. Some chew it as a form of dental hygiene, taking care not to swallow it as it can cause unpleasant stomach distress. The flame-like tendrils give off a smoky scent, adding to the impression of a roaring fire. The wood smoke feels like rough glass paper. Oh, I feel like that would like leave splinters on your tongue. And you chew on it for dental hygiene. I don't know, that's just very bleh. Gray sandfire. First she felt free, but it wasn't long before the reality of her situation began to take its toll. She stole food when she was hungry and slept in makeshift shelters, not knowing where she was going, not caring. Eventually she made her way to Grisdale Forest. Day 8. Lowick to Ilgil Head, Foxfield to Crickle Crags. Where is Ilgil? Fox Fuel to where? Foxfield to Crickle Crags. Then Lowick. No, it might be the one right underneath there. You are wise to pledge your support to the Seeds of Redemption. Together we are stronger. Now that the Dendra has awoken, the Redemption is upon us. 
It is a glorious time. Our deeds will be remembered for thousands of years. Those of us have been have put our faith in the Woken Dendru will be saved, but we must act swiftly. We will be in touch soon. Praise the Dendru. Okay, psycho. My mind is clouded, dark. It, I see it and it sees me, all of me. Elder Finium is the answer, it must be. I will not forget those who helped me, horticulturist. Elder Finium. The petals of this flower can be brewed to create an antidote to Dendra's miasma, a deadly poison that causes the blood to slowly turn black, eventually resulting in a painful death. It has an intoxicating scent similar to the Solomon Skepter. Skepter, I keep saying. <laughs> Spectre. Um, so is it this one? No. No, that's not it. Uh, it looks like... Maybe up more upright. It's got little thingies coming out of it. Perbuscus. Uh, da 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 da. Oof. Uh, da da da. Everything I have is pretty much labeled. Is it this one? It has an intoxicating scent. So not an unpleasant. This one's technically intoxicating, but it doesn't have the thingies coming off of it. No, it doesn't have the things. It has an intoxicating scent. The smell is alluring. You know what? This is the only one I, I have, so... Oh, okay. Mm, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have just, just done did that. That's fine, though. I'll find it. I probably have it. Right. Oh, let's see. Small purple berries, red fruit, bulbous quite firm and turquoise, and orange fruit. Ugh. Oh, you know what? I might not have it yet. Uh, there's like that thing. This thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, one up, and it's this one. Whoever wrote on my map has been very helpful. I would have, I would never have thought to come out this desolate place in search for a plant life. But a quick search yields exciting results. Nice. Okay, um... Elder Finium. My mom was into horticulture. I found this among her things. Golden light. That's a plant, right? I'm not sure what long leg could mean, though. It's another plant. Anyway, I thought you should have it just in case it's any help. She loved the shop. Mm. Lowick to Ilgil Head, Foxfield to Crickle Crags. Lowick. Oh, 
to Ilgil. And then Foxfield to Crickle Crags. Really? I could have sworn it would be that one. Ilgil? Ah, 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 it was going way too low. Crickle Crags. It's because of the highlighted box. It's this right here. Yep, oh, okay. I hate that. Help me. The amulet. I can't remove it and it's drawing the life from me. <sighs> Longverkund. Sometimes called Witch's Remedy, the Longverkund is believed to have curses. Small leaves grow in pairs along the stem. Is this another thing? Was that fourteen? Fourteen uh, B fourteen? I think so. The memorial bears the name Swave Pryor. It stirs a memory. He was one of the Dreyer. Theirs is a lonely life at the mercy of a dangerous addiction. They build a tolerance to the Dranthium sap in the childhood uh, in childhood that they might benefit from the from its potent effects, but they will die if they stop taking it. An unusual plant grows sparsely around the memorial. Well, that's not it. Okay, great. I don't have anything that grows in pairs. That's what the problem is. Oh, my eyes. There's only a few plants that I do not have labeled. This is one. Soft pale blue, no. Dark purple flowers. That's the one I just got. Has a sweet scent. Doesn't look anything like the picture. This also looks nothing like the picture. Uh, do I not have it? Oh, my hand is 
feels so cold. I don't believe I have it. No. Oh, would it be this? Oh, maybe it's that. Um, wait, I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay, cool. Maybe I got- maybe this is the plant that she wanted. The magpie sees me before I see it, and I do not know how long it has been watching me, but I can tell that it is interested in my movements. A strange sensation creeps over me, and I feel an urge to leave this place, but not before collecting a plant for further study. One for sorrow. Turning to leave, I see another magpie and another plant I've never seen before. Two for joy. Yeah, this one. That's what I needed. I was in such a rush to help this lady. Uh. There it comes. There's <laughs> not going to be any more room up here. Um, uh, I can feel- uh, I, can, I can feel it working, thank you. Okay, cool. Amos! It is good to see you, my friend. I've been on the road for so long I started to wonder if you were still on the other end of the letters I've been sending. I'm back in town for a few days, though I wanted to give you these before I forget. I found them in the, in the pocket of an overcoat that belonged to your uncle. I almost threw them away, but I thought the symbols on them might mean something to you. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Okay, so these two go together. And then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that works. No. No. Yes. And yes, okay. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get these out of here. Eighteen thirteen gospel. Okay. Robert Barrows Medicinal Herbology. Okay. A briar's disc, often called a smuggler's disc, is a simple device that can be used to send coded messages. The location of cached cargo, for example, the principle is <sighs> cunningly straightforward, but the code is undecipherable to prying eyes. Both parties must be in possession of the disc of identical size and the same with the same symbols etched around the edge of the map. To encode a location, you would then place the disc over some named point on the, on the map nearby and note whichever symbol is pointing to the location. Oh, right. 
It may be necessary to string multiple symbols together, but you can use the method to reach any point on the map required. Right, right. Black Hill Road and Kendall. I find the medicinal herbology shop off Black Hill Road. I know you, says the man behind the counter, Robert Barrow, presumably. You're the owner of the strange horticulture. Two hours later, after a lengthy and engaging discussion covering a variety of botanical subjects, we decided to tr on a trade. It turns out Robert is a collector of unusual fungi, and I have just a thing for him. Copper Caledonian. This plant has, has a rejuvenation effect, but most who have tried to benefit from his properties have come to realize that it is a curse, not a blessing. Though you may appear younger, you will quickly become more frail and brittle. The red patches... Oh, that guy that gave this to me. He's the one that said that he wasn't long for this world, I'm pretty sure. Or he's the one that keeps coming in for like the memory stuff to the old age. Um, that are often seen growing on it are in fact the type of fungus themselves and not a part of the plant. This one, right? Mushroom. Red warts growing on it. Yeah. Ooh. Hello. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Copper. Cow. Donian. O-E-I-A-N I have no idea what any of this means, but it seemed like something you might find interesting. I found it while clearing out the, no the nook off the east wing. Oh, got my neck. Phalox elixir, elix elixir. Made from the crushed petals of three distinctive plants, Phalox elixir is a potent aid to memory, allowing those who drink it to ensure that they retain important information that they will never forget. Care must be taken after drinking, however, to avoid the fate of Grey Gale, who slowly lost her mind after taking Baylox and starting and staring at a blank wall for 12 hours. Sounds like me when I disassociate. <laughs> a young woman alone in the world. She was taken in by the sisterhood and given home. It was a chance for redemption. A new start. I believe that day 10 is when I get to decide whether to save the sisterhood or not. So that's the achievement that I'm mostly playing for right now. I forgot what the other one is, but... In Tubei, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. In Tubei, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. I find myself on a path of the moorland, surrounded by jagged peaks and men menacing clouds. A distinctive plant stands out against the, s the swaths of purple heather. And there, another. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna stop putting the purple ones up there and they're gonna go right next to these blue ones now. Okay. Quick 
くくくく。できた。Long Meg, sorry I've never heard of you, but I'll keep an eye out for you, for you in the library. As long as you can get me some fever kiss, that is. Too many late nights at the library taking their toll. Yeah, I already have that labeled. That's the berry. This one. Ooh. Where are we going, David? There's talk around town of a woman who wears a green mask made of jade. There are all sorts of oddballs in Undermere, but that's certainly unusual. Beckfoot Candle. Where is Beckfoot? That's Black Borrow. Um. Black Home. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Beckfoot. And then candle. Okay. The candle leads me east of the of wastewater to the north of the mighty Skyfall Pike gazes to the side of the tallest peak in England. A challenge beckstone to me. Wow. Beckons to me. Perhaps another time. I need to start using the magnifying glass on these because it's getting later and it's getting harder for me to see. Oh. My eyes are straining right now. This can go... Right there. Forest. I have been talking to people around town trying to learn as much as I can about this beast that is rumored to have been seen in these parts. In the old world, they called this thing the Serpent, but the people here seem to have forgotten that name, except the group calling themselves the Seeds of, Red of Redemption. They are something I did not expect, and they have made it clear that they want me to stay away from the Serpent. They seem to worship it. But I'm getting distracted. My dranthium supplies are low. I need more. Dranthium. A plant with powerful mind-altering abilities. Those who inhale smoke from the burning, uh, from burning its long, sharp leaves, elevate their awareness to levels otherwise unachievable. Some know dranthium as green eye, a name derived from the tall from the telltale sign of overdose where even the whites of the eyes take on a green tint oops okay so uh oh my eye let's see oh, da, da, da. running its long sharp leaves from a flower. Long thin leaves that bear surprisingly sharp edges. I just had a feeling it was that one because it was like really long leaves. I crept around Black Home two nights ago in the pitch black. That eyebright is some potent stuff. I could see clear as day. Up on the fell I found a shallow pit full of skulls. Some deer, fox, badger, and some human. There was an eerie silence about the place and every part of me was screaming to get out of there. Back down on the flat I heard a terrible noise like an axe maker's whetstone but unmistakably animal. High on the ridge line, I saw a colded woman wearing a jade mask watching me, and beside her, something dark, inhuman, and bloody huge. I don't mind admitting that I'm out of my depths on this one. I'll need to speak to Verona again. 
While I'm here, I'll grab some wild cold from my pounding head. You'd been out drinking too, if you'd seen what I did. The purple berries are recommended by physicians in place of the hair of the dog mentality as a tonic for those suffering the effects of having drunk too much the night before. There are some who considered wild coal a sacred plant, perhaps owning uh, to its rarity, and uh, claim that it is bad luck to pick the berries from it. Ugh, whatever. I know which one it is. It's the only other purple berry one I have, which I believe is this one. Yeah. While 